Hey, welcome everyone. Another episode of Ask Mark here at Blue Glow Electronics. I won't read you the whole email, but this, you know, Bob sent me a message here saying, hey, I bought a Tektronics oscilloscope. Inside of it were a bunch of Amprex and Bugle Boy 6DJ8s. Really nice tubes. However, some of them have some green cut crud on the pins. And he was asking me how I clean tube pins. And so I thought I would show you guys. All right, this is my solution here, and it may not be for everyone, but it has worked well for me. I have literally cleaned thousands and thousands of tube pins with this, whether it's 9-pin, octal, 4-pin, you name it. I've used the same process here. So before I get started, I typically like to use a tube pin straightener, and I keep one of these mounted on the bench over here on the side, and I just kind of push the tube down in there, make sure all the pins are straight before I clean them. And then what I use is a Dremel. It doesn't matter if your Dremel's like this or one of the straight Dremels or whatnot. This is just an older Dremel I have, and I keep it dedicated to this brush. Um, it stays here on my bench, and I use it for nothing but cleaning tube pins. I also use this same brush for cleaning um, RCA jacks on the back of uh, stereos that have corroded up. But here's what's special about this brush, if there is anything special. It's just a brass brush, okay? And it is super soft. I want you to watch this, okay? I've run this on about a two, so fairly low speed. I mean, I can get in here and grind on my fingernail, my cuticle, um, and grind like crazy here. It's not hurting me. Why? Because these are super soft bristles on this brush and no damage whatsoever to my finger. Okay, the bristles here seem to be about 7 16 inches long, and if I measure across the length of them before, this one's a little spread out from being used. They come packed a little tighter, um, but it would have been about a half an inch brush when it was packed originally, and I believe this to be a brass brush. But at any rate, the process is pretty simple. You take your tube, you turn it on, and then I'll start up at the edge of the tube here and with a little bit of angle on it, and I'll kind of just work my way around on the outside, all the way around, and then I'll back up a little bit. And I'll do the same thing here all the way further down the two pins and kind of get it. And then I'll start working on the inside and you can kind of angle it and get down in there. And you'll notice I can, I can even cram this on here to the point that, you know, it stops the Dremel, right? And it is so soft, it's, it's not going to break a two pin. Uh, I know a lot of people might say, whoa, that's going to break a two pin. Uh, I can tell you in thousands of tubes, I've never done that. Now, if you had this thing cranked up on a 10 or you were using a really stiff bristle brush, I might could see it, but I just like to kind of get in here with it and clean. Now, uh, like I said, I would wear some eye protection with this. I have no, you know, I wear glasses all the time, but I've never had a bristle fly off and get in my eye, but I have felt them fly off um, and hit my hand before. So I would pay attention to that and just use some eye protection. but. It's really a simple process. I'll spend 20, 30 seconds maybe on each tube, and uh, you can kind of get in here pretty good and let the bristles kind of go around and, and get it all clean. Now, if what I had been cleaning was had some really green gunk in it and maybe it had some corrosion on the pins, maybe had eaten through the nickel coating here on them, then I would use a can of Deoxit D5 and just put a little bit of, uh, put a little bit of Deoxit there on the tube pins and wipe it around. You know, you can get rid of any excess here that might have gotten on the, the tube glass or whatnot. Um, but this has um, uh, corrosion inhibitors on it, so the coating it puts on there um, will stay on there for years and, and keep your pins from corroding again. So that's it, and that's all there is to it. It's plain and simple. I'll see if I can find a link maybe put into the um, below, you know, the comments section where you guys could uh, find some of these. But they typically run about three bucks. Like I said, I found them on Amazon. I found them at Harbor Freight. I've seen them at Hamfest. Uh, but I haven't had to buy a lot of them. These things have lasted many, many years for me. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this little trick works for you. Like I said, I have used a wire brush before. I haven't had as much luck. It's a pain. This this really makes it quite simple. So thanks for watching, everyone.